Hi guys, welcome back for another one. It is time to find out the next farmable or foundable character in Marvel Strike Force. All right, so like you guys saw in the intro of the video, the three Penguin Bucks leaders are currently Salvin, Bryanzo123, and Grayskull. Currently, you see the Penguin Bucks they have on the leaderboard. And if you would like to join this fun and possibly get on this leaderboard, I will show you guys how to do it at the end of the video. And if you're like, I'm never gonna catch up to these points, trust me, you can. I'll get into more detail at the end. So first, there was no Who's Next video for Elena. I was having some personal stuff going on that time, so I wasn't able to really make the video. Plus, my bookie called me up and he says, it's guaranteed to be Elena, so it's not worth doing a video. So I was like, you know what? I won't stress myself out. I'll take it off because Elena was coming. But before that, we did have a Who's Next video and the characters that were voted on, and there were two characters released. So if you placed a bet on either Scream or Red Guardian, you got paid out. And if you betted on Red Guardian, which two people did, you guys got paid out big time. But anyways, first up was Scream. Scream was actually the second favorite with four to one odds. The favorite location was the arena store. She did go to the arena store. Next up, Red Guardian, which was a big payout. I think a lot of people were shocked that this character became farmable with 12 to one odds. Yes, big payouts if, if you placed a penguin buck bet on Red Guardian. But the arena store was actually the third favorite location in front of Campaign and War Store. I was actually really surprised this character didn't end in the war store, but obviously with the arena reworks, it's not as easy to farm a character as it once was. And then the character released in between whose next videos was Elena, and as you can see, uh, through my previous video, the favorite she was the favorite character to be released, and she was also in the favorite location campaign. All right, to find out who the next farmable character is, we need to know when these characters were released in the game to give us a better idea of who's up next. So the longest character currently unfarmable unfoundable is emma frost she was released on august 2nd almost guys we're like over like nine months this character still not available any way of obtaining shards of this character after her milestone ended after that it was anti-venom october 19th another one been a very long time and then we skip a month and go to shatterstar on december 8th long shot on december 17th and kitty pride on january 15th yes those astonishing x-men if you really need an easy raid team are creeping up to the farmable category right they're getting there after that it was iceman on january 25th bishop february 2nd white tiger february 19th moon knight march 1st silver surfer march 16th and Currently, the newest characters released, Multiman, April 5th, Polaris, April 14th, Kestrel, April 28th, Colleen Wing, May 6th, and Misty Knight to be determined. All right, these are currently all the unfarmable characters or unfoundable characters in the game that have no location of where shards of them can be obtained. So it's time to break down the odds my bookie gave me for each one of these characters. So first up is Silver Surfer. Yes, if you want to place your long shot Penguin Bucks bet on Silver Surfer, he will pay you out 99 to 1 and 99 to 1 on every location because it's not happening. Next up is the Heroes for Hire, Colleen Wing, and Misty Knight. Obviously, Misty Knight's not even in the game yet, so if you want to place this sucker bet, by all means you can, but 50 to 1 odds that either one of these characters is going to come and favorite location currently for one of these characters is the war store followed by arena campaign raid store blitz and orb exclusive and if you're curious of what the odds are the lower the number the more likely that location will be their farmable location the higher the least likely and i'll get into how this equates to penguin bucks bets at the end next up we have kestrel with 30 to 1 odds obviously another newer release character not going to happen but if you want to take the long shot bet that somehow they just make her farmable right from the get-go, there you can. Favorite location currently for Kestrel, according to my bookie, is Orb Exclusive with 3 to 1 odds. War Store 4 to 1, Arena 5 to 1, Campaign 7 to 1, Raid Store 8 to 1, and Blitz Store 10 to 1. Next up, we have the X-Factor duo of Multiple Man and Polaris. Yes, both of these characters you can place your bet with and get 20 to 1 odds. Favorite location, if they are released, is Arena. Now, I do want to point something out with Arena, guys. You're going to see Arena as the favorite location for a lot of characters. And the main reason for that is, is because they've restructured Arena and they definitely want to get multiple characters with a price tag of 975. So yes, you're going to see Arena as the favorite location for a lot of characters. So anyways, 3 to 1 for them, followed by Campaign, Raid Store, Blitz Store, War Store, and Orb Exclusive. And then we have Moon Knight and White Tiger, 15 to 1 odds. So we're getting closer to the characters that are most likely going to be farmable next. Arena Store, once again, favorite location. 
three to one odds, followed by Campaign four to one, Raid Store five to one, Blitz Store seven to one, eight to one War Store, and ten to one or exclusive. After that, it is finally time to break up the Astonishing X-Men as each one of these characters have their own odds. And obviously I forgot to edit this slide because I still say any of these three. Uh, ignore my mistake. But anyways, 12 to one odds on Bishop. Arena Store is the favorite location for Bishop with three to one odds, four to one War Store, five to one Campaign, seven to one Raid Store, eight to one Orb Exclusive. Yes, Bishop does have better odds of being Orb Exclusive than he does going to the Blitz Store at 10 to one. Next up is Iceman, dropping down a little bit with 10 to 1 odds. Favorite location for Iceman is Campaign Node. Uh, my bookie has a certain theory to this one. So Campaign Favorite, followed by Arena, Raid Store, and then Blitz Store, War Store, and Orb Exclusive as last. And then obviously you know who's next with 8 to 1 odds, that is Kitty Pride. Favorite location again for Kitty is Campaign, followed by Arena Store, 4 to 1, 5 to 1 to Raid, 7 to 1 Blitz, 8 to 1 or, or war and 10 to 1 orb exclusive. Next up is long shot, no longer being the long shot odds. He is now up to 6 to 1 odds. Favorite location for long shot currently is arena store 3 to 1, followed by the war store 4 to 1, campaign 5 to 1, then raid store 7 to 1, and once again, another character that's more favored to be orb exclusive than be going to the blitz store. Next up, we're getting close to the top. Anti-Venom, five to one odds. Yes, favorite location for Anti-Venom currently is the War Store, followed by a campaign node, then Orb Exclusive. So more likely the Orb Exclusive for Anti-Venom than being Arena Store, Raid Store, or Blitz Store farmable. All right, we've got two characters left. Next up is Emma Frost, still four to one odds. This character just, uh, it's probably the longest a milestone character has been remained unfoundable uh, since be being a milestone character. I'm not sure what's going on with Emma Frost and the seasonal orbs that they told us back in back in November. Uh, but anyways, most likely location she will be orb exclusive, and then all the other locations break down like this: War Store six to one, Campaign seven to one, Arena Store eight to one, Raid Store nine to one, and Blitz Store ten to one. Uh, hopefully she's coming mid month, but we'll see. Next up, and the favorite to be released next, uh, following this pattern of RTA characters, is Shatterstar with three to one odds. The favorite of the month and the most likely location for Shatterstar, according to my bookie, is the Raid Store, followed by a campaign node, followed by Arena Store, followed by Blitz Store, War Store, and Orb Exclusive. So now that you have seen all the odds, are you confident you know who the next farmable character is and where they're going to be located? If so, you can place a bet using Penguin Bucks. Yes, my lawyers do not let you gamble with real money. So if you'd like to place a bet, all you need to do is join my Discord. The link to that is in the description down below. Then you want to come and find who's next underneath the video section and that's where you place your bet. All you wanna do is put down the character you think is farmable and the location. Uh, if you make more than one bet, they both are void. Now, if you're afraid that you cannot crack my leaderboard, don't worry, the leaderboard is working on an eight character rotation. And believe it or not, the next farmer character announced will make it eight characters. So after this video's results, any videos after that, a character will be cycled out, which means some people's scores will drop, allowing you to enter the top five and get a shout out in the intro of the video. So if you want to place a bet on Anti-Venom, on my Discord, you'll just type in Anti-Venom and then pick the location, either Campaign, Blitz, Raid, Arena, War, or Orb Exclusive. If Anti-Venom is the next farmable character, you get paid out five to one, and every bet you place is with 100 Penguin Bucks. So that 100 turns into 500 Penguin Bucks on the leaderboard. Let's say you pick the campaign and the campaign becomes correct. You then get an additional 400, but if you get the location correct, I double it. So that's actually worth 800 plus the 500 for getting the character right. That gives you 1300 bucks on the leaderboard. So do you think you can beat my bookie? It is your turn to place your bet. And hopefully by this Friday, we will find out who's the next farmable character in Marvel Strike Force. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up. If you're new here and not done already, hit that subscribe button. And if you do not want to miss any other videos I do on my channel, don't forget that notification bell. With all that said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh, we got a raid and I'm in the middle of a video. <laughs>
Hey, Valley Man, thanks for the raid. Oh, we're recording a video for YouTube currently live, uh, which is my Who's Next video. Uh, my All my alerts are currently off. Hold a minute, hold a minute. For Valley!